Due mostly to his enhancements from the archetype, Godzilla possesses a power that is a very clear rival to divinity. On Earth, there used to be a race of gods that served a similar function to the Cunevi on Ozarvis. They were the Olympians, and their king Zeus was one of the strongest planetary-level gods of any time I know of. Godzilla, while not truly a god, has power that could rival Zeus. In short, as you are currently, there is no winning this battle, Kajadian. Luminous Riazar explaining Godzilla's power level to Blake Genesis slash Ultraman Kajadian. Overview, in the Central Universe, Godzilla is a highly powerful, nuclear-powered kaiju who was displaced from the ethereal voids Earth to the third dimension's Earth by the archetype. Originally, he was a Godzillasaurus maximus, a species of saurian titan fauna, but was irradiated by nuclear testing conducted by the ethereal voids equivalent to humanity, transforming him into a true kaiju. After the archetype was released into the ethereal void, Godzilla was chosen by the sentient energy to serve as its body. In the process, Godzilla was transformed further and possessed by the archetype's mind. However, after causing the ethereal void's dimensional collapse, Godzilla was displaced across dimensions and time. Arriving on the Earth of the Third Dimension in the year 2063. Here, he was defeated by the combat robot Jet Jaguar via the orthogonal diagonalizer. Five years after his defeat against Jet Jaguar, Godzilla was freed from the archetype's manipulation via the Hollow Earth's energy, allowing him to then fight alongside humanity and Ultraman Adam in the final battle against Naga Ghidorah Zarla. Since then, Godzilla has become a valuable ally to humanity, having fought against other kaiju on many occasions. Backstory, 1954, in 1954, Godzilla was a normal adolescent Godzillasaurus Maximus living on a South Pacific island called Odo Island. However, on the third day in November, nuclear testing was conducted by the United States in the region, the radiation from which reached Odo Island. As a result, Godzilla and a few individuals of several species transformed into kaiju over the course of the next few months, 1962-2059, after his transformation into a kaiju, Godzilla continued to survive on Odo Island for almost a full decade. However, an expedition to the island occurred in late 1962, leading to the human governments of the ethereal voids Earth discovering Godzilla. Under the guise of nuclear testing, the United States attempted to kill Godzilla using nuclear weapons. However, they were unsuccessful and Godzilla fled to the depths of the Pacific Ocean. Decades later, in 1999, Godzilla became widely known amongst the ethereal voids humans due to an incident involving a kaiju called Orga. At first, Godzilla was feared, though his image began to develop into that of a benevolent, godly figure in 2014 when he fought against a kaiju called Shernomura. By 2059, Godzilla's reputation among the humans of the ethereal void had become incredibly close to that of a hero. Even in spite of the fact there was a clear understanding that he fought to preserve the natural order and not necessarily humanity. 2060, eventually, in the year 2060, the archetype arrived on the ethereal void's earth from the half dimension. A sentient energy, the archetype was a threat not just to the ethereal void's earth but the entire ethereal void. Unfortunately, Godzilla could not fight against the archetype and became a physical host for the energy. As a result, Godzilla went berserk, destroying countless cities before the entire ethereal void collapsed, due to the rising power of the archetype in Godzilla becoming too much for the dimension to contain. In the aftermath, Godzilla was displaced across dimensions and time, arriving in the third dimension at a date of three years later, profile, stats, height, 110 meters. Length, 290 meters, weight, 250,000 metric tons, combat statistics, Ryerval, physical strength, 4,425,000 metric tons, average internal energy quantity, 1,480,000 megajoules, speed, 310 knots, external durability, 2,180 gigapascals, burning, physical strength, 
4,425,000 metric tons, average internal energy quantity, 7,240,000 megajoules, speed, 310 knots, external durability, 2,180 gigapascals. Forms, default. While only two of these forms have been seen by the humans of the third dimension, Godzilla has had a total of three base forms as a kaiju, Primus, Godzilla's original base form. Unlike his later forms, Primus was considered normal for an irradiated Godzillasaurus Maximus, both in appearance and power, Destructus, Godzilla's second base form, it was forced upon him by the archetype. As such, he lost access to this form after he was released from the archetype's control, Ryerval, Godzilla's current base form, it more closely resembles a conventional irradiated Godzillasaurus Maximus than Destructus did. However, this is only in appearance, as Ryerval possesses far greater power than a normal male of his species would. Godzilla Zeos, an enhanced form that Godzilla gained from Luminous Riazar's divine energy, Burning Godzilla, an enhanced form that Godzilla can access after receiving or generating excess amounts of nuclear energy, abilities, atomic breath, Godzilla's signature attack. While it comes in a variety of forms, each one with a different damage range and effect, its standard form is a radioactive energy beam fired from the mouth with power comparable to Ultraman Atom's Ultra Specium Ray, Spiral Heat Ray, a version nearly identical to the standard form of the atomic breath. The Spiral Heat Ray is identifiable via a purplish lightning bolt that spirals around the beam and a much higher power output. Red Hyper Spiral Heat Ray an enhanced version of the spiral heat ray that's red and orange in color. Intelligence, compared to many reptilian kaiju, Godzilla is exceptionally intelligent. For reference, Godzilla is smarter than the average human but not as smart as the smartest human, nuclear pulse, Godzilla reroutes the energy of his atomic breath to unleash a mid-range, sphere-shaped energy shockwave from his entire body, energy absorption. Godzilla can absorb vast amounts of energy. Physical capabilities. Godzilla is a formidable physical opponent. Strength. Godzilla is extremely strong, able to throw objects up to about 17.5 times his own weight across a maximum distance. Of one mile, durability. Godzilla's hide is essentially an armor that can protect him from incredible amounts of energy and physical damage. Heat resistance. Godzilla's body is extremely heat-resistant, with even the softest parts of it able to withstand temperatures millions of times greater than those at the core of the sun, agility, Godzilla is able to move remarkably quickly, especially for his size, regeneration, Godzilla is able to regenerate from attacks at astounding speeds. On average, he is able to fully regenerate from deep slashes in seconds, though his regeneration can slow down at low temperatures. One of the greatest feats of Godzilla's regeneration was seen after his battle against Zagord Monslord, as Godzilla was able to fully regenerate from being impaled through the chest by Zygorg's tail spear in under three hours. Ultra Beam Immunity Despite the molecular deconstructive properties in an Ultra Beam, Godzilla is completely immune to the effects of any conventional Ultra Beam. This is due to Godzilla's immense regenerative speeds, as the molecular deconstructive properties of a conventional ultra beam are unable to act quick enough to stop Godzilla's regeneration from healing the area of contact. However, it is hypothetically possible to kill him via conventional ultra beams by relying on other properties of the beam. That said, this would require several ultras and would easily devastate the surrounding area, amphibious nature. Godzilla is an adept swimmer and can breathe underwater as well as on land. Longevity, Godzilla is extremely long-lived, superdimensional energy signals, Godzilla has the ability to release interdimensional energy signals that contain a decipherable code. This is used exclusively as a means of communication via specialized devices known as superdimensional communicators, Godzilla Destructus, half-dimensional physiology, due to his mutations from the archetype, Godzilla Destructus possesses abilities that are unseen in Kaiju from the third dimension. Archetype manipulation, Godzilla Destructus is well known for being able to produce, expel, and even manipulate archetype. Dimensional travel, via manipulating archetype, Godzilla Destructus can travel between dimensions. Energy adaptation, 
after being mutated by the archetype, Godzilla Destructus gained the ability to absorb virtually any kind of energy and adapt into a new form derived upon the nature of the type of energy he has absorbed. For example, five years after his defeat at the hands of Jet Jaguar, he evolved from Godzilla Destructus into Godzilla Ryerval after absorbing considerable quantities of the energy from the Hollow Earth, purifying him from the archetype's control. In Ultraman Kajadian the movie, Go Beyond the Stars, he evolved from Godzilla Ryerval into Godzilla Zeos after obtaining divine energy from Luminous Riazar. However, unlike the form of Godzilla Ryerval, Godzilla Zeos is a form that Godzilla lost access to after the battle, Archetype Combustion Burst a variation of the nuclear pulse that causes archetype to light on fire. Godzilla Ryerval, Nuclear Attack Aura After being freed from the archetype as Godzilla Ryerval, Godzilla gained the ability to use the nuclear attack aura, an aura of blue, thermonuclear flames that generate around his body on command. It is also used by Godzilla as Godzilla Primus, Godzilla Zeos, and Burning Godzilla. By default, these flames are estimated to burn at an average temperature of around 75 trillion degrees Celsius, which is 5 million times hotter than the core of the sun. However, when the aura is used in the form of burning Godzilla, these flames turn red and are about 25 times hotter than they are in the default form. Furthermore, though the aura does not harm Godzilla's body, the act of generating its flames is rather exhausting for Godzilla, making it so that Godzilla can only use the aura for up to three minutes before it starts to affect his ability to fight. Additionally, Godzilla can amplify the nuclear attack aura, increasing temperature up to five times, though this comes at the cost of the duration of the aura's usage, hyper incineration slash, Godzilla slashes at the opponent using virtually any part of his body, including even his tail, focusing the nuclear attack aura into the impact site as he does. The result is typically the opponent being incinerated from the inside out, superheated detonation bite, Godzilla bites down on the opponent, with the nuclear attack aura focused around his mouth. With enough force to potentially break the opponent's bones. Typically performed on the shoulder of an opponent, the result is typically the opponent losing part or most of a limb and having permanent burn markings on the stump. Nuclear Supernova Blast Godzilla uses the nuclear attack aura to enhance his atomic breath to its utmost limits. While this attack typically forces Godzilla to stop generating the nuclear attack aura for the time being and takes 2.5 times longer to charge than any other form of his atomic breath, the resulting attack is by far Godzilla's strongest attack and easily makes up for its drawbacks. Trivia Godzilla Destructus's ability to gain new forms via adapting to energy he absorbs is retained by Godzilla Ryerval but not by Godzilla Zeos or Burning Godzilla, the personality of Godzilla's two more recent base forms, Destructus and Ryerval, are modeled on different canonical versions of Godzilla. Godzilla Destructus is modeled primarily after Godzilla Ultima, while Godzilla Ryerval is modeled primarily after the Monsterverse Godzilla and the Heisei series as Godzilla, in regards to the nuclear attack aura, it is worth noting that Gojiren, another irradiated Godzillasaurus maximus specimen, possesses it, meaning that the nuclear attack aura is a standard ability for all irradiated Godzillasaurus maximus. The reason Godzilla Destructus never demonstrates the nuclear attack aura is due to his connection to the archetype, the mental ability needed to trigger the nuclear attack aura was suppressed by the archetype as the nuclear attack aura is hot enough to denature archetype. 